Hi, I'm Monica. I'm Anju. And welcome to another episode of Zazzle Chat. Today we are going to talk about mugs and drinkware. So Monica, starting with mugs here, this is a line that we've had for a really long time. What's really new? What's changed? You're right. This is definitely not a new product. Um, we have had mugs since pretty much the beginning. It's one of our first products, but we have recently gone in and updated a lot of the shots, a lot of the photography, and a lot of the style of the mugs. And we wanted to let you guys know the changes and inspire you guys to see the actual styles in real life, so you could be inspired to design. So, without further ado, why don't we kick off with the classic mug? So the classic mug is just all white. It's probably our best seller. This is 11 ounce, and then this is a 15 ounce. So as you can see, one of the reasons why we did the refresh is um, it's hard to tell, but uh, it used to be hard to tell on the product page that the 15 ounce was bigger than the 11 ounce. And now with the updates, I think it's a little easier. As you can see, um, not a huge difference, but it is noticeable. So this is our basic mug. Next, we have the ringer mug. And then we added another style called the combo mug. So as you can tell, the ringer mug has more ink inside. And then the combo mug has ink inside as well as the handle. Ah! So um, these are the three basic styles. This is the classic, basic, ringer, and combo. They all come in both the 11 and 15 ounce size. They're all as well as the rest of our drinkware, FDA approved and tested for foodware, so we're all compliant there. Um, they're all made of 100% ceramic construction and can be placed in both the microwave and the dishwasher. So you can be rest assured that everything's been tested and approved. Um, one of the things that we did in the refresh was to make sure that we had the same consistent colors for all of these. So we went through, and as you can see, if you zoom in, you can see we have now have 10 colors across both the combo and the ringer mug. Um, and it's consistent between the 11 ounce and the 15 ounce sizes. Um, all the colors are really vibrant and beautiful, and I think it really gives you a good variety, not just you, but also the consumers, a good variety for the type of mugs that we want to choose. So now that we've covered off kind of the basic mugs, within the same product tool, there's actually some other style mugs that we wanted to share with you and um, let you guys know how you can easily style switch. So within the product type, um, there's also uh, the morphing mug. So the morphing mug also comes in an 11 and 15 ounce. And Andrum is gonna be my assistant today and hand me some hot water. What I love about the morphing mug, and it's a really, really fun product, is I'm gonna pour hot water into the morphing mug. And you can slowly start to see the design will emerge. So just to give you guys a heads up, um, the morphing mug, you see it's starting to work here. The morphing mug, it, you can't really see the design, but if you look closely, um, the design does kind of peek through. So it's just something to note when you are designing, but it really is, you know, as the name suggests, it morphs. And then, I mean, this is pretty hot water. Um, and then once the water cools, it kind of goes back to black. This is a great gift idea, as, I mean, as well as all, all the other mugs, but this is a really fun idea for you know, kids or someone who'd be really thrilled by that. Again, it comes in both the 11 and 15 ounce size. Next in the tool, we have um, beer steins. So the beer steins come in two colors, as you can see, the white and then the blue-gray, white gold, blue-gray. These are 22 ounces, and they're very festive. So, uh. Um, just be uh, cognizant, though, that um, the white actually doesn't print on any of these mugs. Um, and it's not that noticeable when you're looking at a white base, but when you're looking at a gray base, because it doesn't print white, um, it's gonna look a little darker. So just take that into note when you're designing on these. Next, we have the frosted glass mug. These are made of frosted glass, obviously, and then these come in slightly different sizes. This is the 10 ounce, and this is the 16 ounce. Um, they're fun. Again, this doesn't print white, so just 
be cognizant when you're designing on these. And lastly, we have the travel mugs. So the travel mugs come in this stainless steel and this white plastic. Same thing goes for these. They don't print with a white base. So if you're designing on this color, it's gonna look di slightly different because this one has a white base. But these are great because they come up with a lid. So if you travel a lot or on the go, you know, it really helps protect. Again, these are all um, within the same tool. So starting from here on out, if you design one of these mugs, customers can easily go to the style switcher and switch up the style and design to fit whatever mug they want the best. Next up we have the specialty mugs. Another reason why we did this refresh is because our old photography didn't do the best job of showcasing the size difference. For example, the Jumbo mug and the Espresso mug really looked about the same size when you looked at it within the product tool. And now with our new photography, it's gonna look a lot different. As you can see, the Jumbo mug is a lot bigger than the Espresso mug when I hold it up side by side. The Jumbo mug is great for those people who need extra boost of coffee in the morning to wake up. And the Espresso is perfect for those who just need a really concentrated shot. Within the same tool, is also the bone china. So the three mugs ugh, consist, these three mugs um, are the specialty mug tools and you can switch your designs between these three. Next up is probably my least favorite mug and that's the lover's mug. Why? Because one of the mugs would never be used. The lover's mug featured uh, two kind of mugs nestled within each other. Um, and they each have kind of a heart shape handle. Um, as you can see, one of the mugs is kind of a normal functioning mug and the other one kind of got the short end of the stick. But you know, that's what happens when you have a lover. One always gets the short end of the stick. Next up is uh, our soup mug. The soup mug is really big and it's perfect for soup or ice cream. Um, really any liquid form or non-liquid form. <laughs> Don't let me yourself. Um, what I like about it is how sturdy the construction is and how big the construction is. Um, but contrast that to the chili mug. So the chili mug is also um, a good size, just to show you. Um, but as you can see, the soup mug can be a little more expensive because it is substantially bigger than the chili mug. One thing about the chili mug that um, we don't do a great job currently of featuring is actually the chili mugs easily stack on top of each other. So if you're re a really clever designer, you could create um, chili mugs that kind of go in tandem and kind of stack up to create something. So I like these because they're easy to store in my cupboard um, as opposed to the soup mug, which is a little harder to stack on top of one another. Next up, we have the thermal mug. And the thermal mug is double paned um, as opposed to the, the traveler mug. So these kind of help keep your liquids a little hotter and a little colder depending on kind of the initial temperature. Um, and it helps prevent against condensation. One of the things I like about the thermal mug is the print area is really all over and there's also protective foam on the bottom so it doesn't scratch. And the, they all fit really nicely into a car armrest. So if this is again, a perfect size for the car and traveling. And lastly, um, not within the mugs tool, but it is drinkware is something we added earlier this year is the mason jars. So we have two sizes for the mason jars and they come with and without handles. And so these are really fun. They print, these don't print with a white base. So again, take note, um, but they have been doing really, really well. And they're very popular within the weddings arena. They kind of add that artsy decor um, to, to events. So they have been doing really well. We just wanted to show you the mason jars as well. So Monica, why don't we contrast the design areas of each of these different styles with against each other? So beginning with this entire range of classic mugs, if you could just tell us what the design area on this is versus uh, the speciality mugs and the chili bowls, the lover's mug and the thermal tumbler. 
So, I mean, we, we, last year we increased the height and the, the design area, but it still doesn't go to the top just because we need some safety um, and, and the print process. But we have increased it substantially and we've increased it to kind of really to the edge of where the handle is. So, so it's a lot closer to the handle than it was before. Yes. Okay. And then th that, that area is very similar across all these mugs, including right. the morphing and, and the traveler's mug. The traveler's mug um, doesn't cover like the skinnier part because of, of how it, it, basically how it's the design that are printed are there, the printed on paper and then they're clamped onto the mugs and then they go through a heater um, and then the designs are kind of fused onto there. So we can't, the clamp can't securely clamp the bottom. So that's why it's only limited to this area. So if I had a pattern on let's say this mug and a customer were to switch over, the pattern would take up only this much area and this would be printed in white in this case and stainless steel in that case. Correct. All right. Uh, is that true for the morphing mug as well? So if you had a pattern that went all around, all of it would show up once the heated water is poured into it. Yes, so the morphing mug and kind of the classic mug are all the same style. Mm -hmm. It just has another layer to kind of help coat it. Awesome. I know you also talked about which mugs print white and which don't. Uh, let's go over that quickly so that we can, we can summarize which mugs would have white ink printed on it and which would not. So actually none of them have white ink printed on it. It's just really the, these have a white base. And so even though it doesn't print white, if you have a white part of the design, we just won't print on it and it will show up white. Whereas why I said make sure you take careful note is because the stainless steel and the kind of the stein, because it doesn't have a white base, it will, your white will just show up as the stainless steel or the gray part of the mug. So designers, another reason why this is very important is because some of our other products also don't print white. And if you have a white design on there and a customer sees it, they might end up ordering the design, but what will turn up is a blank mug. So just be very careful that your entire design is in white or a large part of it is in white so that there is some other substantial design on the mug itself when they receive the order. Correct. Uh, what about the design area of the couple's mug? I know this is your least favorite, but let's just talk about it. So the couple mugs, um, you obviously can't print the inside. Mm -hmm. um, it's really limited to kind of here and here, and they try and fuse it as closely as they can, um, and then the back part here and here. Again, anything that's currently nestled will not be printed, so this part will remain white. So it's symmetrical on both sides, and you can put a different design front and back? Correct. All right. And just to reiterate, the most unique and the largest design area in all of this range would be the, the thermal tumbler. Correct. Because it goes all around, right? This goes all around. I think there is some tolerance uh, when, where it kind of meets, but we've really tried to have as close to a full bleed as we can on these. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed taking a look at all our drinkware. Um, mugs do really well over the holidays, so we hope that you guys are inspired to continue to design throughout the holiday season. Thanks. Bye.